okay, I have to say, welcome on the director of Greek Free. Yay, it's Michael B. Jordan. How did it feel to watch your first um, direct on and on the cinema? It felt great. I felt uh, a tremendous amount of pride, you know, for my, my cast and crew. I know how hard they work to like, you know, to make this movie. So to be able to sit back and watch, you know, something that we spent three years of our life making was really, really a, a, a great, a great feeling. You said that challenging part is time management. Did you have yeah. time to sleep? Barely, barely time to sleep. I, sleep is something that I'm still looking forward to sleeping, actually, uh, you know, after this movie comes out. But no, it, it, uh, that was probably one of the things that I got the least amount of is, uh, is sleep. You mentioned many times, and even Jonathan said that you had a big fan of Japan anime. So we can see a little bit about like Naruto or One Section or Dragon Ball. Like, which one is your most favorite anime? Ah, uh, whoa! I can't say my most favorite, but I think some of the ones I really, really love is like Dragon Ball Z, you have Naruto. You got uh, One Piece. You have uh, My Hero. There's uh, there's uh, Bleach. There's there's Death Note. Um, uh, my Spiritual Index is pretty dope too. Um, yeah, I, I mean, listen, I I can go on and on. I think I think when I was a kid, you know, you know, reading the mangas and and, and just kind of getting into like you know loving animation and cartoons and you know, uh, uh, and then I was like, oh wow, this is like a different language, and like you know listening to the the cadence of you know Japanese like language and then reading the subtitles and then it was just something that felt like. Uh, so familiar yet so foreign, and I've always been intrigued by it. And it, but of course, their themes are very like universal, like you know about friendships and relationships and like promises and like you know you know betrayal and heartbreak and yeah, it was just like all the things that I love. And it was a lot of action. Yeah, there's a couple you know punches that are you know pulled from some anime references. That's that's happened throughout a bunch of anime. There's like a you know there's a there's a, a double punch moment. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, that, and uh, that's all I'll say. Do you have any pressure because all uh, uh, everybody was going to see to see like, oh, this is gonna be the first spot movie filmed in IMAX. So do you have your pressure on yourself? No, 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 not really. I didn't even know it was the first sports movie shot in IMAX until after I shot the movie. Nobody told me that until after it was already done. So I didn't really have any of that pressure. Really, I was just trying to make the fights feel bigger. You know, and make it more, you know, I don't know, immersed, so so you could feel like you're right there in the ring with us. I I never I never really felt that that pressure when it came to um, IMAX. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Bye.